It was a dramatic announcement meant to jolt the world's energy markets. I hope uh, we surprised you. If you are not surprised, then we need to do something about it. The surprise was a production cut, the biggest in OPEC's history, designed to boost plummeting oil prices that have hurt OPEC nations. They rely on oil prices of between $60 and $100 a barrel to balance their budgets. The 13 OPEC members pump about 40 percent of world consumption. Operating as a cartel, they set production limits collectively. By cutting 2.2 million barrels a day, or about 6 percent of their production, they'd like to force the price up again to roughly double. As we take 2 million barrels a day out of the market of OPEC supply, that it will tighten this market and that it will ultimately lead to higher prices. But it's a risky strategy in the midst of a global downturn. Cutting oil supply is a mistake by OPEC because what it does is it drives the price artificially higher and that in turn is going to exacerbate, prolong, worsen the recession. For American consumers, lower prices at the pump have offered some relief in a dire economy. It's great. Even though it's been a bumpy ride. So I don't get it. It's like why a month ago were we paying five bucks and now it's like 173. It doesn't make sense to me. And it's not getting any more predictable. Demand for oil is slowing so dramatically as the recession deepens that OPEC's production cut hasn't pushed the price of oil up, at least not yet. In fact, it's even dropped a little. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.